Going from a bench warmer to the starter. That was the plan last time around. And Ronaldo Jr. stepped up in beautiful ways and even was putting out tweets talking about his teammates too. But in the Champions League, we learned a massive lesson. We still have a long way to go to compete with the best of the best. In the Bundesliga, the performances were just keeping on coming from Ronaldo Jr. Showcasing that he can win Player of the Month awards consistently but the Ballon d'Or is still far away. In the month of November, Leverkusen now are sat in a second position, one point behind Borussia Dortmund. In the German Cup, we have been drawn against Darmstadt, with Ronaldo Jr. in the second position for the top scorers in the Bundesliga, and the third position for most assists in the league. And according to you guys, apparently, he actually went back up to the age of 24. I've changed it again to 17, and... As many of you guys have been saying in the comments down below, as these comments right here, you guys want me to go ahead and put his real face in the game with the help of mods. I am in contact with modders right now. Hopefully, we can get it done. Also, our good friend Balde was an 84. When I changed him to a left midfielder, he dropped down to an 81. I fixed it right now. Balde 84. Also, a lot of you have mentioned this right here, Hofmann's position. And now I actually changed him to a centre midfielder so that we can avoid having players like Puerta taking over that position so consistently. Hofmann coming in into centre midfield actually makes more sense. Thanks for that. As you guys know, our agent wants to move us to the likes of Arsenal, City, Liverpool or Barcelona. And my path and the target team has not been selected yet. So if you guys have an idea, please let me know in the comments down below right now. This episode should be the one where we go ahead and choose which team we are going to be targeting for the future of Junior. And it seems to have worked. Starting 11 for Gladbach. Turam up top. Wirtz and myself in the camp positions. Balde at left midfield with an 84 rating. Hofmann 81 rated. Really good stuff. We could also technically change Andres to a centre back. So that we can avoid having Van den Bosch there. That's something that you guys can decide too. Having said all that. Today I want to reach the rating of 80. So we need a bunch of goal contributions. So let's start now against Gladbach. We are pretty much out there with the strongest possible lineup that we can put up right now. With Turam at striker though, which is something that we aren't used to yet. We haven't necessarily been able to connect with him in a proper way. With Adli, however, it's been great so far. Find me. Nice, Frimpong. Keep going. I'll find you. I know you're quick. Go on. Frimpong gets the first shot of the game. Gladbach and Leverkusen is always a massive game, by the way. Go on, Turam. Find me. There I am. Left footed strike. Oh, what a save. But the thing is, last episode, we actually improved our weak foot. So that one would have actually gone in. Beats Turam. Oh, that's me. Let's go. Beautiful Turam. I don't know if you passed it, but that's. This is the perfect start into today's episode. Let's take a closer look at it. Turam did actually pass it. Okay. Go on. Bang! <gasps> One day. One day I will score that. Hoffman, thank you very much. Vietz. Go on. Defenders on the floor. Turam. Nice pass again. Ah, oh, man. I was about to go through. But I gotta say, the team might just feel the best it's ever felt so far. Passing play is on point. Defenders are aware. Frimpong is doing loads defensively. Hofmann actually found a good spot for himself here too. As I'm looking for Vietz. But man, this feels good. Nice. Go on, Turam. Thank you very much. I'm trying to wiggle my way through these defenders. And finding Turam. Beautiful pass. Come on, big French lad. No. That's not it. Exceptional work. Gladbach! Near post. Yes. Dude, this keeper is way too good. Turam. Oh, what a ball that is for Ronaldo Jr. He's running. He sees Wirtz in the center. Wirtz left footed. This game is done. 1-0 victory at home against Gladbach. A game that means a lot. 
part of the team of the week on that right hand side it's me let's go we love to see it let's move over though oh, no don't don't quit uh, let's move over straight away into player growth i want to grow him to an 80 rating today so let's make that happen i do have two skill points to spend that means i can actually go ham right here i will be picking this one short passing and vision going up or long and short pass you know what i'm actually going with that one my vision is good already plus two right there all skill points used plus four on long passing and short passing seeing us at an 80 rating you know what maybe i want more than 80 today However, now we are back in Champions League football, currently in the ninth position with seven points. Barcelona in seventh, and they are, obviously, our next opponents. It's me against Lamin Yamal. It's finally happening. And would you look at that? That's the lineup. Andrish playing centre-back. This is the perfect lineup for Leverkusen. Maybe Turam and Adli could be interchanged, but I'm actually excited about this. Barca straight away early on. Unai Simon needs to step in. If anyone can get past the likes of Unai Simon, it will be Lewandowski. But he is once again saving us. Barca inside the box once again. This time it's Lewandowski. <sighs> Three big chances already for them. It's definitely a different vibe in the Champions League, man. Our team is clearly not up to that level yet. Barcelona has Yamal on the bench. 84 rated. How dare you not play him instead of Kostic or Molero? Come on, man. Barca moving in. Gonatanta. Find me right here. Let's go. I'm running with it. Oh, they're trying to take me down. They are trying to take me down right now. Vietz and myself. We can do this, I thought. Go on. Vietz. Oh, what a ball! Frimpong! Yes! Exceptional football! Florian Wirtz! Are you kidding me? You might have Lamin Yamal, but if you don't play him, then Wirtz will step up if I don't. That man is incredible! Look at the outside of the boot pass. That is an assist that I can only dream of. There we go. Ref blows the whistle. 1-0 victory for Bayer Leverkusen. An incredible performance from the lads at home. And Lamin Yamal was hiding all day. You should have come off the bench, buddy. He was waiting for you. Seriously, it's impressive how Borussia Dortmund are still in that first position. Holding on to it, despite their one loss being ahead of us. Even though we are unbeaten. That win in the Champions League, by the way, pushed us up into the sixth position, which is good to see. I'm getting a great opportunity to pick up some easy skill points right here against Hamburg. So let's make sure we utilize it. It's 1-1, 49 minute. I'm running through on goal. I'm getting myself half a skill point. And I think from the last episode, we still have half a skill point left. So let's take that Trivela, show him that it's cold out here and move on asking for more lads i'm gonna do this with my eyes closed are you ready let's run eyes closed did i not score what am i doing man why am i closing my eyes and it's a 2-1 victory in the end i couldn't do anything else actually the fact that i've been included in the team of the week for this is an absolute joke i mean i'm i was trying to score with my eyes closed but hey that's two skill points if you combine the half skill point from the last episode that I still have left, had left, and now have the half skill point from that game, plus team of the week, let's make it two and see what we can go after. So passing wise, I'm actually pretty happy, but you know what? I might go one more. I am going to use those skill two skill points right here. And with that, go up to an 81. That's me. I'm an 81 rated talent. In the matchup in the German Cup, we actually scored two goals against Darmstadt, a second division team. Those simulation types, by the way, where I do score or get assists, don't count towards skill points. He's done it again. He has done it again. Player of the month. I'm thinking if I keep going like this and keep winning player of the month and possibly the player of the season... Am I going to be up for the Ballon d'Or? I mean, I don't want to think too far ahead, but this is already an amazing achievement. 81 rated now. Center attacking midfielder, 17 years old. Ronaldo Jr. is doing so great at Leverkusen.
So with the three skill points, I'm actually going ahead and picking up one on ball control. That puts me up to 85 ball control. And with the other two points, I'm going strength and aggression. Taking strength to 85, whilst taking aggression to 59, which still is quite low. And no growth this time, still 81 rated. We keep playing against teams outside of the top 10. It's Augsburg up next. Receiving a nice pass here, possibly 34 minutes in. Should I make a run for me? Please get me an assist. I really do want more assists. And I will get one right here. Marcus Turam. Come on then. Oh, he doesn't want to celebrate with me. All right, I'm not going to watch your celebration then. Make that run for me. Go, go, go Turam. Get me another assist. A second one. Do you want to celebrate now? Yes, it looks like he does. That is working out perfectly fine. Balde Turam. Viet, everyone celebrating this. And on top of it... Here comes the Trivella. You know it. Let's do it. Bang. Oh my, I'm trash. The game is finished. 2-1 victory. Two goal contributions. That's all we want. And would you look at that? He's now at the top of the top scoring list in the Bundesliga with 11 goals in 13 appearances. Same as Denis Undav. But for the assist, I'm still chasing down Harry Kane, apparently, who is at the top. One skill point to use from that game, I'm taking my long shots to a 77. It's actually interesting to see that Real Madrid would happily, with open arms, take on Ronaldo Jr. now. And it says, optional, win player of the year. We are fully on track to do that. So technically, with Real Madrid, I could legit just go ahead and ask for an insane amount in wages as we go through the season i'll probably be able to achieve a bunch of this stuff but right now with 75k in wages and even 112k i could easily join real madrid what the hell for my current contract with leverkusen though i would like to take that up to 240k thank you very much Talking about all that money made me want to invest straight away. Let's buy some farmland, raise some chickens, get some eggs, have some good breakfast. Okay, time to focus again. It is Juventus against Bayer Leverkusen, eighth in the Champions League against the sixth place team. Oh no, I went into highlights. I didn't want to. I really didn't want to. What the hell? Champions League footy highlights. I guess I'm good enough for it. I didn't think I would be. Oh, Juventus is through. And they will score this. They did. Sorry for the camera work there. But it's 2-1 Vlahovic. And this is exactly why I didn't want to play highlights in such an important game. I'm going to go down the right. Turam, get in there. Let's find you with a cross. Come on, Turam. Lovely header. Even better save. The game is over. It's a 2-1 victory for Juventus. Man, I hate losing games in the Champions League. This is the competition where we definitely struggled the most. I managed to get on the score sheet, but honestly, that's not worth anything. Half a skill point it actually is worth. But at the end of the day, there is Nico Williams, who has been named player of the match. Congratulations. Yes, yet another young player like Lamine Yamal that I'm kind of competing against, I feel like. And now the moment has come. It's Stuttgart, Denis Undav against Ronaldo Jr. First against second in a top scoring list. And obviously I'm going all in on this one. It's also a team is sat in fourth against fifth in the league, I believe. We kind of drop down to the fourth position. Maybe we have one game less, but this is a massive game. And there is Stuttgart's attack with Undav. That man needs to be stopped and I will chase him down if I have to. Oh, they're trying something here. Undav, outside the box. I'm here, buddy. You're not getting past me. I'm the man. Let's run. Let's run. Go, go, go. Straight away, after picking up the ball from Denis Undav, this would be something special. He's going for it. Left foot. Ah, that didn't work. Turam. Nope, that didn't work either. Either? <laughs> Anyways, give me the freaking ball again. I don't want to stop. Oh, what a ball. Frimpong. Yes. <laughs> Dennis, do you see this? I'm not just a goal scorer. I can prepare goals too. What a pass that is. Frimpong had all the time in the world. 
And he has been quite impactful today, hasn't he? Frimpong getting goals for fun. Oh, Stuttgart with Laborde. Impressive. 1-1. One, one. That was some goal. Our defense looked silly in that moment. Look at him. Just getting past him with ease. Simon has no chance. Here comes Stuttgart. Beautiful. Terrible. That's some odd combination. Ronatanta. Great header into me. Lots of space to run into. For Ronaldo Jr. He's going. And he's scoring. Yes. That will hurt Undaf the most. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. is now the sole leader in the top scoring list in the Bundesliga. Undav. Where are you? This Laborde guy. He is causing way too much trouble. And causing me to have voice cracks too. Frimpong. Lovely pass into me again. Oh, I'm through. Tiram. Oh, come on. I wanted another assist. Oh, no. Stuttgart are through. I'm trying to put pressure on him. Demirovic scores. I could have done better there. I mean, first off, I shouldn't even be there. That's not the position I should be in. I shouldn't be defending all the way back. I'm the only one that shows any amount of urgency there trying to get there. But strength, tackling, all of that is lacking. 92 minutes in. It's two teams that have cancelled each other out. Two teams with amazing attacks. I might have won the individual battle against Undav, but I really wanted the three points. I can't believe I didn't even manage to win player of the match in that one. Why is this guy pretending to be me? Buzzing after that performance. Huge thanks to the fans. Your support means the world to me. Niklas Gross. You are a fake man. Hey, well, at least I made it into the team of the week. Taking my total from 1.5, thanks to the assist earlier on and the highlight uh, goal contribution before that. 1.5 to 2.5. And I'm about to go into another highlight matchup against Hertha BST. We are currently in a second position. Same amount of points as Dortmund. They have finally shown a bit of weakness. So let's please... Go ahead and keep the pressure up because Dortmund is up against Frankfurt up next. So since it is highlights and I'm on two and a half skill points so far, let's make sure we get a couple more goal involvements right here. At least one so I can use three skill points. That could be quite something right here right now. Turam could have been offside. I passed it right before he crossed the halfway line. Turam, can you get me an assist? Yes, you can. There we go. Up to three skill points to spend. Can I get more? Nope. Oh, that game is done and we conceded in the 90th minute. Are you freaking kidding me? Lads, that was the chance. Dortmund did drop points. They're also on 35. They also got a draw against Frankfurt. Undav has been included in the Bundesliga Player of the Month nominees alongside me. And you know what? I'm going to keep it simple this time. I'm going acceleration. Taking it from 83 to 84. That way, especially in the highlights, I can run away from defenders a little bit quicker, hopefully. But then also my ball control with the last skill point goes from 85 to an 89. Taking me to an 82 rating. I mean, come on, lads. From a 79 to an 82 in one epic. Having said all that, we are in the month of January and I am desperately hoping that our team does make transfers. We should have a bunch of money in the bank. Undav, eat your heart out. Bundesliga player of the month again. He has done it. Dude, I am 100% going after the player of the season. And since I'm getting three skill points from that, I'm going two on here. That takes my long passing to 90, short passing to 89. And then with the last one, I guess I'll go into physical and improve my reactions to an 82. And that actually took me to an 83. I've grown by four ratings today. Rodrigo signs for Liverpool for 218 million. What the hell? Liverpool spending that much money on one player? No way. Oh, hold on a second. Since when did Lewis Hall join us? That's a new transfer for sure. An amazingly talented left back. 
But we play three at the back with no left back. So how does this make sense? In my opinion, we're still in need of a center mid and most importantly, a center back for that left center back position in this team. So hopefully in this January transfer window, we can still do something there. And with that being said, Leverkusen ends today with the second position on 35 points, same as Dortmund and Bayern Munich. In the Champions League, we drop down to the 13th position. These upcoming two games are must wins. For Ronaldo Jr., today it ends at the top of the top scoring list ahead of Denis Zundov, but same amount of goals. But for the assist, he has caught up to Harry Kane. It is looking very good. With all that being said, again, let me know which team should we target with Ronaldo Jr. with half a season to go here at Leverkusen. But we are still trying to achieve some amazing things at this club to lift trophies at the end of this season.